Time for Here's the Deal and joining us tonight, Paul Doroshenko, Mark Bussey and Lee Chekstad. And I just want to use a, a few seconds here to correct. I pulled a George Bush earlier and said, fool me once, shame on me. It just, yeah, and it wasn't the moment to, to fix it. So I want to fix it now. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Thank you. All right, Amanda Knox. Shame on Amanda Knox. Guilty again? How can you be guilty again when we're now, I mean, it's a 2007 uh, murder or death, uh, trial number three. Uh, is the evidence some, suddenly getting better? Yeah. Uh, like, <laughs> Apparently it is because the sentence got even longer. 28.6 yeah, uh, years. I know. It, feels, it feels to me like, I mean, Italy's, you know, had a troubling brand uh, problem. <laughs> From Berlusconi for a little while. <laughs> on down. Uh, says the brand guy. Um, the this feels like theater. Yes. I mean, this really feels like, you know what? They're probably never going to give her over to us anyway. So let's like let's let's show them you know how strong Italy can be. I'm not really sure what this verdict means. She'll never go back right. there. She'll probably never leave the U.S. ever again. But is that really that bad for yeah, her? Yeah, sure. it is. You never know. Well, you sure, have the change Have you ever been to Italy? The food yeah. is so good. <laughs> well, compared to the four years she spent yeah. incarcerated sure. in an Italian prison, she's right. probably like, so I can never use the leaves. Oh, I, I, don't, I don't think I, I, I think there's more to it than that. It, yeah. And I think the other thing you've got to remember is governments change. Our policy has changed, you know, from the liberals to the conservatives. We're ready to extradite anybody now. Yeah. Uh, new Italian government sometime down the road, they may want to take all those steps to extradite her. Well, and what about the Americans? Can... Where are they at with extradition to Italy? I mean... Oh, I think they probably wouldn't have too much difficulty, you know. Law and order society, a court has found her guilty. I don't think they'd have a big problem they, extraditing her. They said this time, though, because she has already been acquitted, in under their law and their oh, diplomacy, yeah. Yeah. Can't, jeopardy. Jeopardy. Yeah, yeah, you can't be tried yeah. again. Right. So in their case, they wouldn't make a move to. Expedite. It's interesting. It's so polarizing. I hit social media as soon as the verdict mm -hmm. came out, and there is a mockery of the Italian mm -hmm. system. And then she's a guilty, you know. I, I, I don't. I, I'm unwilling to mock the Italian system. I think the Italians may have their problems with Berlusconi, but Fiat's doing very well. And, uh, <laughs> Italian food is as good as it's ever been. I still love prosciutto. Yes. Um, so I, I don't know. I. I, I it, it I will somehow... defer a little bit to the Italian justice system, but uh, you know, on the other hand, how well are how well are we placed to comment on it, yes. or anybody in North America to comment on it? I mean, we should, probably should have some Italian lawyers in. All right. Well, we should probably all go there next time uh, well, and we figure should. that out. All right. Let's talk about the city task force volunteers. Mm -hmm. Were you one of them? I was. And what did you guys come up with besides potluck suppers? Well, I'll tell you one thing. We came up with um, a how important this issue is and B, how hard it is and actually almost sort of an impossible thing to, to you can't mandate engagement, you can't make communities um, be, friendly. be friendly. You can't get people to walk over to the neighbor and go, hi, I want to go over from, come over for tea. Welcome wagon. However, uh, I like what we came up with in the end. I didn't for a while and a lot of us struggled and it was, it was a tense, it, we were supposed to be in it for you know six, eight months and here we are 14 months later with a document that we're all proud of, um, you know, one, I remember one meeting when somebody said to the mayor was sitting there and Andrea Reimer and said, we need a document. You're not paying us. We're not, you know, we're you not were all volunteers. We're not vision uh, polit politicians. We need something that we can show our, our parents and say we helped produce us and be proud of it. And I think we're there. Okay. Do you think things will improve or do you think these are just ideas that are hard to implement? Yes. <laughs> I think that uh, over time, if Vancouverites decide that we wish to not be labeled, and again, branding, that report that the Vancouver Foundation released was a very dangerous document because all of a sudden words like isolation and loneliness were attached to us as citizenry and as a community. If we decide that's intolerable and we don't wish to, to be known as this, then Vancouver will change. Can this document and these recommendations and actions by City Hall contribute to that? Yeah, I think so. All right, rattle off a couple of the recommendations. Because I heard potluck suppers was one of them. Community. I'm events. all over the potluck suppers. Are you kidding? <laughs> Salmonella, I'm the sweetest guy. All sorts of other things you know, look, look, you look, get. Yeah, exactly. But there's you know, there's aggressive um, mm -hmm. strategies to get people voting. We really strongly recommended that, and there's stuff there. There's like a lot of evidence. Like, yeah, like, like we've been trying this for the longest time. We, Every time before, there's a federal election and a provincial election, there's always let's get everybody out, let's get the youth vote out, let's get whoever else out. You know what? It doesn't work. People just 
they're not that concerned about it. If the city's working, they're not angry, they don't go vote. Right. Things don't seem to be working, then they get angry and then they go vote. Right. There's, there's a number of things. Uh, neighborhood liaisons. Uh, not going so far as to create a ward system, but actually to create representation and, and make sure that... More elected people? <laughs> Great. Welcome wagon. Oh, man. Welcome wagon. <laughs> Look, there's a lot. The document is an easy read. It's beautiful. Uh, there's a lot of good stuff in it, and, and I encourage everybody to check it out. It's, right. it's... I applaud your efforts, because this city Absolutely. is... Absolutely. Vancouver proper, in particular, has taken a lot of heat over the years as being unfriendly, hard to meet people. You should just walk around downtown and greet people. You well, know, when I, I already do that, but I'll tell you, I mean, <laughs> if you go back to Italy... That's where they're friendly. And what are they doing? They're having a glass of wine. Absolutely. And you can't have a glass of wine out on the street with your neighbor. You can't, you know, this is just the way we are. Uh, if, uh, again, if you're in Italy, there'll be a concert there in the square, and they'll be selling beer to you in the mm -hmm. concert. People like to go out and drink. It's much more pleasant. Yep. Potluck supper? Potluck supper with beer. Yeah. There you go. You'll get the... <laughs> yeah. All right, real quick. Let's tackle that 85-cent Canadian dollar. Yeah, 85 Yay. cents. So if you invested... A million dollars in Canada a little while ago. Now you've got, you know, you'll have eight hundred and fifty thousand mm -hmm. dollars. That's how you feel as an investor. No. Remember, now when the Liberals were in power, the Liberals took heat all the time from the Conservatives for our weak dollar. Now we've got a facing, or we're, you know, the, the TD Bank is saying that we're going to have an eighty-five cent dollar by the summer. Right. How are people going to feel? I mean, you well, can't go on vacation. This, this and new feel. Bank of Canada governor is uh, helping to prop up the export <clears throat> industry. No. Yeah, but the commodities are tanking. I, 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 the, this whole conversation reminds me of being back in university. Uh, you to, can remember that far well, back? That's the thing. I remember <laughs> the feeling of, oh my God, I totally don't understand this crap. <laughs> and that's a little bit how I feel. But, you know, interest rates, they're not going up. No. Commodities, they're going down. These things are connected to this. As a business owner who does a bit of business in the States, I'm actually okay with it for a while. Like, I'm like, yeah, this is great. Do they you sell things to the States? Well, maybe you sell your services. I sell yeah. my American services, companies. and they so pay me American, American money. Yeah, yeah. Well, they're more powerful. And people. they're but still under, the, they're still under the impression that they're getting a deal. To drive over the border to Target doesn't make quite as much sense anymore. But I think for a lot of the export industry, like you the, said, you shop at Target. You I don't look totally at look at you do Target. not. There's I think the, I'm wearing things from Target right now. <laughs> we love us a little Target. We love but it. They're here now. Yes. But I, I mean, will I drive over the border quite as much? Probably not as much, but I will go because I like the selection of things down there. When our dollar was a dollar, did we get a bargain? You know, we're, yes, we, we yes. were still, yeah, but we hey, were still just... paying more money here for the same product that we were buying in the states. Yep. You know, why are we not questioning that? And why are we, well, we not? We have been. Well, I, <laughs> okay, we're questioning it, but somehow the government seemed to be able to slide with that one. Nobody really pushed it, and here we are now. Our dollar's dropping. Our money's not going to go as far. Canadian companies don't have the same money to invest outside of the country. If you've got a million-dollar house, yep. and you planned on selling it and moving to Arizona, you now have an eight hundred and fifty thousand-dollar house, right? Uh, there's... That'll still get you a lot in Arizona. Sure, First but, but world it's a... problem. Yeah, this is boo, how I'm going to wrap this boo one boo up for us. Paul Doroshenko and Mark Bussy and Lee Chexa. Thanks, gang. You're welcome. Yep. Coming up next on unfiltered party buses. Despite a promise for action by the provincial government, nothing seems to have changed. Now a city councillor is getting involved. We're talking to Jeff Meggs next.